Many opportunities exist in computer science. They range from working on computer hardware to uh, administering a network, perhaps uh, implementing the network, uh, implementing security, to web design, to uh, computer programming, um, even to artificial intelligence. And it's a, an exciting area to go into. It's a constantly evolving area. So if you, you find that you get uh, bored with one subject area that you keep doing the same thing over and over, you won't have that with computer science. Uh, you'll be engaged, you'll have to keep evolving yourself. Individuals that do not change oftentimes become obsolete, just like equipment. Uh, that may seem kind of uh, harsh or strange, but that's the way that computer science is. You have to keep on improving, you have to keep on changing, you have to keep on evolving. One of the areas of interest was uh, networking classes. We could have had just a class dealing with uh, books and uh, some definitions. We could have perhaps used some virtual uh, simulations. But we wanted our students to actually have hands-on experience. So we ordered the actual Cisco uh, hardware so that not only just you read about it, but you actually can do something with it. Uh, the best way to learn is by doing. And uh, so we've uh, bought some of the top of the line Cisco to help prepare for um, certifications. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, offering CCNA uh, prep classes in the future. But for, for now, these are going to be focused on uh, providing that hands-on experience in networking uh, classes and just basic uh, computer science. We'll be offering uh, computer hardware repair starting in uh, fall uh, 2019. Again, I didn't want people just to read about how to do it. I didn't want them to work on simulations where maybe they understand, maybe they don't. I wanted them to actually work on hardware. And so the uh, computer department uh, donated some of the uh, computers that they had and so we could use those for actual uh, hardware repair. So you actually get hands-on experience. That's the best way to learn is to actually uh, work with the uh, technology, work with the machinery. We met with Wichita State because we want to have a program that seamlessly transferred the credits uh, over to their program. Many of our computer science majors go on to Wichita State. We took a poll one semester and it was 85% of the students went on to Wichita State. So we wanted that uh, relationship to be as, as seamless, um, to be as transparent. When you go from, from Cali to Wichita State, we want you to have uh, success. So we want to be, you to be used to the equipment, uh, their, their um, methodology, their way of, uh, way of approaching a problem. So we met with them. Uh, we got a lot of information. They uh, told us which courses to design that would uh, help uh, with this partnership. They, uh, they told us that we could get by with using some open source software free uh, to simulate uh, some of the circuit design and other aspects of digital design. And we decided that, that wasn't good enough. We wanted to have the best program in the state of Kansas. So we uh, ordered and purchased the um, same devices that they use at Wichita State. This is actually a newer model, so we actually got uh, newer equipment than what they're using at Wichita State. Now don't uh, get worried. That doesn't mean you're going to be lost when you go there. It's pretty much the same as before. It just um, They've improved some items on it. But we figured why go with the old technology when uh, the new one was available. Besides this uh, Introduction to Digital Design course, which uses this um, circuit uh, design prototyping kit, we uh, offer many other classes that uh, transfer directly to WSU. And we're looking at adding even more classes um, to help make it a, a seamless transition. So you go two years here, and you will finish in two years at Wichita State. That's our end goal. Um, we know everybody starts at different places. Um, I say that's our end goal because some people uh, start at a lower level in algebra and obviously it's going to take you a little bit longer to, to get through those particular math courses so you can then take the computer science courses that require uh, those more advanced uh, math courses. So it will never be seamless for everybody. Um, people start at different uh, places in their education uh, but we all finish the, the same place. 
This is the uh, computer science classroom slash laboratory. The tables are designed for collaboration purposes. The goal in this program is to get people to learn to work together, work as a team. Because that's what you do in real life. Uh, very seldom are you the only individual uh, on, a, on a project. You see those wires coming down from the ceiling? Those are our power and our networking. We wanted that so the room could be totally reconfigurable. We want it to be a dynamic room to uh, indicate the dynamic nature of uh, computer science even. Don't get set into a thought process that this is where this has got to be. We're constantly changing. Up in front here, there's a um, big screen and there's a the instructor workstation and then you also see that there's a camera up there. Uh, the Every class is being transmitted um, over the internet, synchronous learning, and it's also being stored in a YouTube video format. The idea on this is we wanted to offer these classes available to everybody. We didn't want just people in the in Wellington area to only benefit from, from these classes. We wanted uh, individuals at the Mulvane Center, at the main campus, uh, anywhere, even if you're at home, to be able to uh, attend the lectures. So the lectures are during a certain time frame, you get on, let's say it starts at 8 o'clock, you get on at 8 o'clock, you can watch the lecture from home. You can ask questions, you can interact. That's the nature of synchronous learning. Now you might indicate, well, I, I work at 8 o'clock. Well, we've thought of that. We're recording every lecture, putting it out in YouTube video format, so you don't have to actually be there. You can watch the lectures whenever you want. Let's say you do come to class, or you watch from home at 8 o'clock. If you don't catch something, you need to watch it again. Those YouTube videos uh, are invaluable for that. This also opens up the opportunities for, as I indicated, individuals at home to attend a lecture. It also opens up uh, somebody clear across the state in a small town at a high school that uh, doesn't have the opportunities uh, to take a, a particular uh, computer science course in their area. They can take the course. Now, we can't, we can't market uh, to those individuals directly, but we do hear from them occasionally. They hear about our program and they uh, want to uh, attend one of our classes.